Hi everyone, this is Thriving Vegan with another Building Tiny Tiny House update. And I thought today that we could go and um, talk a little bit about our electrical system and our solar setup. And um, I just wanted to share that um, Melissa and I um, taught ourselves um, the basics of electrical wiring and we with the help of uh, my younger sister Emily who is actually studying um, electrical engineering at college she and she actually just graduated um, so congratulations to her um, she helped us to actually wire the inside of our outlets and switches and just, and figure out how what the gauge was that we needed and and everything and so um, there's actually this book that I can share on this video um, link below um, That tells you what what book it was because it was very helpful that um, That we read and that actually allowed us to wire it ourselves And so here we are in the kitchen and there's the kitchen window with the curtain we had now have um, each of these um, this whole light is full of um, 50 watt bulbs and so it's actually sucked more energy than I would have liked out of, um, you know, just it just consumes a lot with 50 watts each because that's, you know, 200 watts total. So anyways, just a side note on that. Um, here is our electrical panel and um, I actually wired this whole thing and um, I learned through some YouTube videos and through just um, actually looking at um, my parents have a similar one in their house, so I kind of observed theirs before I went to wire um, this one. But you can have a closer look here. Um, I actually labeled all the different switches, and um, let's see. So we've got seven different outlets. Let's see, one, two, three, four. No, that's not four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So. The idea here is that if any of them, if any of the circuits blow, that um, the whole house won't be like out of power until you switch it back. And so, this is um, the main, the main um, power on off. Um, we have the uh, outlet in the kitchen because we're actually using a lot of things like um, Vitamixes and you know we've got the the freezer, the fridge, a lot of things in the kitchen that suck a lot of energy. So we've got that. Let's see, we've got the bathroom, the bathroom outlet, plus some computer lights or computer outlets and some main and the main light in the in the house. The next one is the kitchen window outlet. So that that would be the one. Let's see. Let's show that. Right. Um, well. Yeah. So there's one right there next to the kitchen window. So that's on its own switch. So we can actually plug something that sucks a lot of energy out of that, and it won't blow anything. Um, computer um, some more computer outlets there let's see this one's actually um, the whole um, left side of the wall in the kitchen so I we have and we have one for the shed which is outside so that took me a good amount of research and time to to wire that but it was super rewarding and um, it taught me a lot about you know the electricity and how the whole thing works with the 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 black the hot wire and the the white and the neutral wire and then the copper ground um, it's very simple once you understand it but um, it took me a little while and that the book as I mentioned before it was super helpful to um, explain everything in a very like simple manner um, let's see over here we actually have um, some readouts for the the solar setup that we have we have three 160 watt um, panels. So we have, right now, we have 480 watts um, that we can run off of. And um, since we're not in a good place for the sun, we're actually just plugged in to um, my parents' house on the side, and that gives us the energy we need. So we actually have a transfer switch and a shore plug-in so that when um, we're plugged into the shore power, it knows not to draw off the solar panels. And um, so right now I can tr switch on the whole solar setup. And let's see. So it actually won't even turn on because um, the, the safety features on it. And um, 
it so basically it doesn't have enough um, it's under voltage and it just like shuts right off so if we were to put it into the Sun the whole system would shut off um, turn on but you can see over here that this is the readout for the um, solar panels and um, you've got 0.1 amps so hardly anything that's being drawn and then you've got the um, volts 13.7 volts and the batteries are 100% charged so um, that just gives you a, a sense for what we can look at and um, yeah so we have um, several outlets in the kitchen and let's see we've got a, a four a four way outlet here and then of course you've got your switch so um, turns the light off and on and um, we've got a switch over in the bathroom, which is nice for light. Like that, and we've got an outlet up there. And um, and then we have a. This was the most complicated one, um, the two-way switch, um, where we have a a, um, a Himalayan pink salt um, lamp with a um, with a essential oil lamp burner, and so. It actually will help smell up the place, but so you, so here's here's one switch right here. So you turn that on, and the light goes on, and then it's actually kind of like a, a night light because it's right above our stairs. So you just walk right up, and the top of the stairs there's another. So there's the outlet that's that's the double switch and is, that controls the power. And so here's another out the um, switch. It's right near our loft, and um, you turn that off, and then there goes the lamp. It's back off. So that's probably, that was our most complicated wiring to do. And um, Emily, my sister, she had a lot to do with, <laughs> or everything really to do with the logistics of wiring that one. Um, but finally we have this, the main light actually. So here's the switch for that. It's right, it's right um, as you walk in the door, here's the front door. And here's the light. So yeah, that's basically, there's a, there's a few other outlets that I missed, but um, yeah, that's um, that was most of them. And maybe I'll just walk right out really quick, and I'll show you outside the shed where the batteries are and the solar panels are. So let's hold on one moment. Okay, so here we are outside. Here's the shed, and um, I unlocked it. So open it up. It's not too too cleaned up in here yet, but. That's another project for another day. Um, so here, you can see, here's the whole solar logistic setup. And we have two deep cycle, um, 100 amp hour batteries that are set up in parallel so that we get the 12 volts. And um, those are connected to our huge inverter here. and. So this was a whole setup that came from Go Power, and um, this inverter is huge, and it can handle up to 300 watts, so it's huge. And um, here we have the shore hookup right here, so that's where I'm, where we're hooked into the side of my parents' house. And um, let's see, here's the transfer switch. So anytime, even if we have solar and we have um, a shore hookup as well, the transfer switch will actually um, not draw from the solar and, and draw from our hookup instead. And in here we have a battery charge controller just to make sure that the batteries don't get overcharged. Um, so that's all connected to the batteries. And let's see, finally, I'll just show you really quickly that we have um, our 360 watt um, solar panels right here. So this whole, again, as I said, this whole setup is um, from Go Power, and um, it was their Go Power Extreme kit. And so we have, again, we have 480 watts total. And you can see underneath here how they're they're wired. They're all again in parallel. And um, yeah. Let's see. So, anyways, that's our um, that's our electrical set setup, and um, we're planning to put more panels up on the roof. But um, we don't we don't actually have that many electrical needs. Like the 
he needs that we have are pretty low. So um, I'll keep you all updated. I'll make another video once we get to a point where we're actually using all the solar. And um, so keep, keep posted. And um, as always, comment, rate, and subscribe right below if you like this video and other, other past videos. Um, subscribe for future updates and it also helps it helps both of us because the more um, the more people we get to follow us then the more people will will see what we're doing and um, anyways catch you next time and have a great day all right